Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can center a div on screen. So, in my case, I have this text to appear at the top right now. I want to take it to the center of the screen. And in order to do that, I have to create a div which will display at the center. For that, we are going to edit our code here. We are going to put this para in div centered. Then we are going to define. Sorry, it should call center. Now we have to give the position as either absolute or fixed. So in our case we have position as fixed. You can write absolute if you want. Then we have to give the top position as 50% then from left it should be another 50% so you can see this should be 50% from the top then 50% from the screen that would do for our center after that we will also adjust the margin for minus 50 pixel and for margin bottom so that it won't go too much above as minus 100 pixel that we will just save it and we will refresh our div okay so while experimenting you will notice that this is moved to the left so for that we'll just edit it and we will see now the problem was I wrote ID here while declaring a class <laughs> so that was minor error which caused a problem now we will just refresh and see what happens is our text is now centered a bit on the right side we will just have to change that from let's say margin left let's see how much it moves okay now it looks exactly at the center so basically what we have done here is we have created a class called center then we have positioned it for absolute you can type fixed as well then you have to give top position which is 50% for the div and left is also 50% then you have to set the margin which is minus 50 pixel from top then from left it is minus 100 percent pixel so when you have that then your div will appear at the center of the screen you have to experiment for different screen size and adjust it accordingly so that is our simple tutorial on how you can center the div you can use that for arranging it or some pop-up box or image or some email list box or anything that you want this simple code in CSS will help you achieve this effect and I hope this tutorial will help I see you in the next tutorial